Yeah, uh, <laughs> coffee and good beats. Still the same kid bumping beats on a sunny day. Fresh fruit, probably getting stoned, sipping lemonade. If you've been a fan of this show for a while, you know how much we love the Illinois Craft Brewers Guild. You know how much we love beer under glass. And today, we're taking you along for the ride with 125 different Illinois breweries all serving beer under glass in the train station. The name is true. Mm. It's magical. It's laughing at me. I wish I could brush my teeth with it. Oh. I want to put my dick through. This trail. might be my favorite event that we do regularly. I, I really think it I is. I think so too. This is a, such a fun event. We're gonna snack some food. I don't know if we're gonna get a full 120 beers in us. No. I'd like to try. I'm gonna tell you right now, we're not doing that. <laughs> you gotta calm, don't, don't even, ah, don't even say that. Over yeah. here. Okay, <laughs> that's fitting. This is the second year, it's at Union Station. I'm ready to have some fun. Let's do it. It's the greatest beer in all the world. Pretty much the only time we're cool is when we get to skip lines because of media. Media, I don't know, but. It was this door. Yep, I think it is. Yep, right there to the right. Media table. Hi. She like what I do. Yeah, she told me a few times I'm not new to it, baby. Says she been here a few times. So a very hilarious thing is that we've done so many beer festivals now that we basically know how to attack this as like content creators, beer drinkers, of like, look at how empty this looks right now. This is like, it just opened to VIP slash media for 15 minutes. Uh, I see Midwest Brew Review. We're gonna try to just slam beers and do content before the peasants come in. <laughs> I'm just kidding, we're normally peasants. She say I'm leaving so soon, try to see you in the morning until then I'm chilling with my head in the cloud night. There we go. That's the glass. I'm God. Legally, we have to drink under it. Like that's the whole yeah. thing. So you stand under the glass and you drink and you support Illinois. Yeah, beer under glass. It's really easy to live here. When you leave this building, you will be endowed with all my powers. How are you? Good, can I do the rare? Thank you. They got proprietors, rare, and vanilla. What are you gonna do? This, they said that we should get the rare. That's what I was hearing. Thank you. Cheers. So we're about seven years into the show. We've never learned anything about beer, but we just pretty much meet up with Matt, Billy, and Brian, and they tell us what to drink. So Goose Island, Bourbon County, rare. Uh, starting the day with a Bourbon County stout, which I did not think we'd start with, but before the peasants get in. <laughs> I mean, this is actually really good. It's so I'm good. I'm not a big stout guy, but this is like, there's like a candy flavor. It tastes like it. liquid candy. It's pretty delicious. And it's like a billion percent, so 13 or 14. Oh boy. So starting off strong, so. I swear we're gonna get food today, too. I promise. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about, resident beer expert. What's up? Maddie, pa Maddie Pans, as I call him. Uh, we're about to do some Miskatonic. Chimera Cup. BBA peanut butter. Hi. So. Yeah, he's really he's hyping it up. So. Yes. Yeah, the uh, the cub, the cub. Yeah. I used too much of it, so I didn't want to use too much. I'm like, I don't want to make a pledge with grain. Thank you. One of the best breweries in the suburbs, right? I agree. Got to be. Yeah. All right. This is something Corey taught me in Italy. It's called doing the pelican. Whoa. <laughs> wow. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a yeah. long day, guys. That is a liquid candy bar. Yeah. Can we get some beers that taste like Coors Banquet? Yeah. What'd you get? I got an Italian Pilsner. An Italian Pilsner? After the Italy trip. And I'm a Pilsner guy. You are a Pilsner. We've been talking about it later. I got a thrills for the pills, so dude. You... Oh, I never need a drink menu. I got the thrills for the pills. Because <laughs> I'm a Pilsner man. So can you uh, compare this to Peroni then? That you probably had like a bunch of? Oh, this is better than Peroni. Oh, right. sure. Now he's got all stopped. Sure. Now he was like, yeah, now he's got the. Yeah, just like a little. Uh, right. I don't like that. Right. I'm a pretty fancy man. I don't like how he's. <laughs> fancy. I don't like how he's a nice boy. I'm a fancy <laughs> boy now. All right, score it out of five. Yeah. Five. Very excited. Thank you, buddy. A little Midwest royalty? Gotcha. Thank you. Uh, That's the Vanna White right there. I uh, love it. I got Pam's looking great. Appreciate we tried this today. This was canned yesterday. So. Yeah, I love the label. Supposedly, High Life had a baby with Coors Banquet. 
sounds like my speed. I don't know why I feel like Courtney Basinger is really like tuning in oh, right yeah. now. Him and the Korb. I'm gonna, uh, the yeah, nickel, the nickel. nickel. I'm thinking of you guys, the six or forty, as we drink this. My fellow trash brothers. Yeah, the trash Free monkeys. Beer here. Free beer. Free beer. I mean, instantly my favorite beer wow. here. Yeah. It's yeah. nice and light the way I like drink it. Drink a bunch of liquid candy bars and then have a real beer. Yeah. <laughs> guys, I'm gonna pelican it. This is American beer. Not even that fan. All the other stuff tastes like fancy French stuff. Pelican! How's it going, guys? How's it going? Can I do the double IPA? Yeah. Allergen? They say double, they Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Oh, cheers. Hot butcher. Would you go IPA? I got. I think the double IPA, which Lager is move a on. very bad choice. Yeah. I love the flavor, I'll but get I think Hot Butcher is becoming slowly kind of like a top ten favorite brewery in Illinois. Damn, I didn't. I, this is my first time having them. This is great. They're very good. Hot Butcher? Hot are they butcher. in Chicago or just Illinois? I think uh, in like just out like the suburbs, barely. Bro, check these guys out. It's a good, it's a good lager. It's very good. All right, this is a Dortmund style export lager, 5.8%. By the way, this is a Midwest Brew Review uh, suggestion. Oh yeah, Goldfinger. The Goldfinger move. Yeah. I never make my own choices at these yeah. festivals. No. I like to go All with right. the pro set. Cheers. Oh, this is great. Wow, alcohol. Wow. Yeah, that tastes like, like wow. that tastes like Europe. That's yeah. <laughs> That's what that tastes that like. That tastes like Europe. Dude. That tastes like Europe. <laughs> Woo! Brian, your thoughts? <laughs> That's really good. This is also in collaboration with Jack's Abbey, which is another strictly lager brewery. Dude, so I'm so oh. Loggers and pilsners are, that's, I'm done with IPA. Yeah, right? I'm I mean, all lager and pilsners. I'm kind of getting there with you. I'll drink a pale ale, I'll drink an India pale ale, I'll drink an American India pale ale. <laughs> Imposta Impos syndrome, an ah, Italian, Italian pilsner. Impasta. That's, That's great. I love that. Ah, molto bene. Cheers. Grazie. Ciao, mio mire. Oh, this is. Are you okay? I spilled. <laughs> my type of thing. Is the Italian Pilsner the new number six which he's endorsed My beer style. Dad. I love Peronis. And I like Italians. I like Italians. And I like Pilsner. Dude, the, the dribble of liquid under your chin that I'm seeing right now, I can't get Hey, over. don't worry about it. Shout out Flipside Brewing. No. Tagging along on all the Midwest breweries. Yeah, we don't know They're what we're doing. Tasting it we don't even know what we're doing. Good enough. We're idiots and we're just utilizing their genius. Seven years of doing this, we couldn't tell you what a Pilsner even is. <laughs> but they keep inviting us. I just came over to tell you I was going to go pee. Really <laughs> oh, Whiskey uh, Hill. Uh, Come I'm on, you're a wrestling through. fan, right? You got to know. That's Do you I mean. see the can? God damn. Dude, that yeah. can is wow, it really is. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, look at it. You know who's gonna love that is my brother. Yes. Oh, yeah. Electric Ely. Can I have some citrus? Yes. Our friends over at Whiskey Hill gave us a New England IPA looking very milky for La Vaca. La Vaca. Um, shout out Eric, shout out Garrett. Cheers. Cheers. That's actually tasty. Oh. I was just telling Sean before we turned the camera on. You know, I'm kind of over the IPAs. It's kind of nice if you haven't had one in a while and then have one. It's actually not bad. La Vaca. It sounds like Lavaca likes the New England. It's a little bit of a, yeah, it's a, little bit of a New England milky. Lavaca likes it. Give me that milk. <laughs> Don't say give me that milk. Don't be in the public telling people to give you that milk. It's not. So we're in line for Whiskey Hill, and they go, "It's six o'clock. We're gonna do some specialty bottles." Got it. So that. we hear specialty bottles. We stand in line. And who was already in line? That's right. Who uh, was already here? I think me and Corey were already we, in line. We know who the smart ones in the crew we, are. It was us. Yeah, okay. We were in line. Okay. Who's in front? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was us. It's a pretty easy riddle to solve. <laughs> I think you want the split. Yeah, you want the split, bro. Give me, give me the promo. Give me the promo. Aged in our Pips Mead barrel, Banana Jack. We added toasted coconut and wild thai banana. Ooh, Boozy, banana, good. coconut. Fucking delicious. That wax top. I mean, you guys got boss pours too, so enjoy. I appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> All right, give me a review. Let's see. All right. It's almost Ooh. too delicious. It's a little concerning. It's a little. It's one of those things I could get. It could be dangerous. Yeah, it tastes like candy. It could be just slamming these like it's nothing. <laughs> what percentage is this? Thirteen point five. Thirteen point five. That's dangerous. That'll get me. 
It's too it's too good for that percentage. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get wild with that. Fantastic name for a beer. Fantastic. Somebody call me an Uber. You ready? Dude, it smells so good. We've had a decent amount of beers, but this is a food review channel, so it's a big moment. Two of the bacon sausages. Alright, we've got the choice between the hickory and apple or our spicy green pepper. So, Ooh, I want ooh. spicy. Just to keep, just to do one of each, I'll do the hickory. Yeah, one, one and one, yeah. And then what kind of sauce would you like? I'm gonna do the fire. Can I do original? I love the branding on yeah, this. The model is great. It's beautiful. That's cool. All right. Thank you so much. Oh my god, look at that. Awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you. Awesome. Alright. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna take it. Corey thinks he found a table at this event, which is like hard to find. Yeah, and I don't think we're allowed to be in here, but we're just gonna fake it. Fake it till you make it, dude. That's most of the media. Hope you guys have a great night. Enjoy, happy memorial. All right, do this review. Yeah, this is, uh, what a snag by you. The moment you've all been waiting for. This is a bacon sausage, naturally encased. And it's looking very, very good. We've never done this before on the show. Corey sniped this little back room. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's for workers. <laughs> yeah. But when you act like you're supposed to be here. And we got lucky, there was workers in here and they watch our show. <laughs> also, we got two different sauces. Yeah. And two different bacon. You got the fire bacon. I got like a fiery pepper. Fiery pepper, and then the sauce is also fire sauce. And then I got the fire sauce. And then I got the original bacon, the naturally encased bacon sausage, yes, yes. and then also the original sauce. Yeah, so we're doing, this is two food reviews in one. We've been drinking all day, so this is very much needed. Cheers. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, bro. You take a bite of that, that is substantial. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh, it's steaming too. Oh, that's good. I got two great things to say about this. I want to hear both, and I want to hear them loudly. The natural casing reminds me of Detroit style hot dog. It's Spot actually got a snap. You need a snap. You don't get any snap in Chicago. This is the first snap I found in Chicago. Yeah. Doesn't happen often. Two, that flavor profile is way different than, it's not close to hot dog. That is definitely bacon sausage. That's phenomenal. Also, I got two things to say. This is hot, and it is hot. Is it? This is a spicy. You get a bite on your back end. It is, you're going to love the spice on that. Also, only on number six with cheese will someone say, let me get a bite, bite of that back end, and we don't even scoff. Oh, that's the order. That is. <laughs> that's way better. Isn't that so hot it's in a good way? It's the same flavor, but just with spice. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. That's so good. Perfect amount of spice, too. Not the type that, like, makes you not enjoy it. Oh, the burning! That's, like, the right in that sweet spot. I agree. 100%. That is good, dude. It's so, it's, like, the perfect amount of spice. Also, I really like, with the sauce on top, it's almost kind of like a relish consistency. Mm-hmm. Which is really, really nice. I really dig that. This is phenomenal. Yeah, that's very, very good. Mm. At a beer event, I didn't expect there to be food that was like really kicking like this. No, I agree. This is actually really, really, really good. A lot of times what we find is, it's just food to soak up the booze. Mm -hmm. And I get that, that's really all you need. You know, give me a pretzel necklace, give me like a hot dog, give me a hamburger, whatever. But the fact that this is like a thick, natural case sausage, bottled sauces that you can choose, I really love that. And I'm glad I tried yours. Sometimes, I'm sure you've experienced this a little bit. The spice sometimes, you don't realize how good the flavor is. I know. The fact that I have a non-spicy one, I can vouch for the fact that this flavor is really good, but then I also know that the spice is really good. This is so good. I love the fact you get the spicy dog and the sauce. Mm. You're trying to get wild. And I finished first. That was some of the best beer event food I've had. Do they have a location in Chicago? I know that's what I want to. That's what I want to know. I didn't see a brick and mortar. I, I am very impressed. That was I, my mouth is like on fire. I like didn't expect way. that to be that good. Now I want beer again. Yes. Like I am like Jonesin. It's almost an ultimate. For some hunter. pilsners, yeah, absolutely. Dude, I like that we're like kind of in the green room. <laughs> yeah, dude. If you, okay, here's a fun question for you. Okay. If number six with cheese ever got big enough that we did like a food tour and a comedy show and like we went to these comedy Let clubs, me guess, let me guess, would, let me guess. Are you gonna ask what the, that thing is that you're allowed to ask? What's it? What would be on your rider? <laughs> your rider, yeah, yeah. What would be the Corey Wagner? Mm. Like what is something that gives you joy? That's such a good question. I think it's something that you can eat that is not gonna like mess your stomach up. You're yep. not gonna like get too much. Yep. Peanut m and Ooh, I like that answer a lot. She's got a nice I like little that crunch, answer. but you're not, I'll quit before it gets wild. I love that answer. My answer, butter snap pretzels. 
Ooh, I love those. Snyder's makes these little waffly looking pretzels. Oh, the, it's, the, is that the thinner ones? Yep, they're thin. Oh, they, look like, they look like a little waffle. Mm -hmm. And they're buttery. And it, I, when I eat, eat those, I can drink beer for seven hours. Oh, yeah. Without stopping. They soak. See, oh. you know the MMs would not be doing much on the soak no. up side. <laughs> I like but how those, my answer was so I could drink yeah, more. Yeah, he's an efficient man. Yours was like a good answer of like, oh, I like those. Mine's like, flavor. how can I be thirsty? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What would be your food What's your rider? on your rider? I'm going to drop the website for Big Fork brands below. If you guys are into spicy, natural encased sausages, snag these. Courtney Basinger, I'm looking at you. All right, let's go drink some more beer and have fun. That was incredible. We do we food do, reviews. We do food reviews and we just did that and that was unbelievable. You guys don't have a brick and mortar? No. This is all that like just- That food was so, dude, that, I mean, we eat food five days a week. We're putting content <laughs> out. That was one of the best things we've had in a while. That was like, this, this that really is, blew this us is away. That deal. was really, this is the real deal. It's a great hot sauce. It's, it's so dude, good. The snap on that natural casing, it, dude, okay. I love that. Was, it's like a relish. You guys are that was really Oh my good. God, it's so good. You guys need to buy this. This was, this is the endorsement. The the fire, the bacon sausages were good. This is the real deal, buy this. We'll shoot you guys an email. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was, appreciate you guys. Man, so good. So good. Yeah. Keep doing what you do. All right, you know us. All right, let's do that. Can we do that? Yeah, you got it. Little spicy dill pickle. Ooh, look at the color on that. Distill Brewing has a pickle beer, but they also have a spicy pickle beer. Do you like pickleback shots? I actually weirdly do. It, it just is, it's effective. I'm not even a pickle guy, but it is effective. Yeah, let's try this. See what it's, we're Dude, it smells so pickly. Open up the gullet. Oh, smell it. You got, that's so pickly. Oh, I do not like that. Oh, no. That tastes like pickle juice. Is there beer in I there? I mean, it is what they say it is. Yum. I heard that. <laughs> Dude, there's way more beers here than I expected. So many. Like, there's a lot of options. Probably the coolest part about having like media, whatever. They have, so you get these little tiny like three ounce pours in the like brewer's room that we're allowed to go in. They just have these just cases, just tubs of beer, all of these breweries like bring their stuff and just dump it in here for people and we get to like reap the benefits of that. It's pretty sick. I don't normally in my day to day want beer that tastes like applesauce, but if today was the day, right. I could have it. Every year we get to hang out with Midwest Brew Review at these just festivals. We wanted to take a moment to do a little toast for the whole group. So boys, it's great to see you. Woo! Let's get the yeah. Guys, it's just beer. Hey, but it's but pretty, it's pretty damn Pilsner Nation. <laughs> Patrick really is trying to get that to catch on. We're gonna slam this. I guess we're cruising soon. We're gonna go. Where are we going? The Junction. The Junction Pub. We're going to the Junction Pub. It's like it's like. Hey, oh, you got a layover on your train? How about getting drunk? Oh yeah, this is the bar that's yeah. in. Uh, okay, yeah. so there's apparently a bar in Union. So we gotta show Corey the Junction Pub. Love the Junction Pub. Just Corey, but he's pretty damn hot. <laughs> We're in, this is the most incredible place I've ever been. It's a bar in a train station. It's called The Junction. It's in Union Station. Yeah. It's top, top 10 coolest bars in Chicago. This it really is kind of great. Phenomenal. And if you get a beer to go, it comes with a They put a little sippy cup on this. <laughs> I mean, God, you can't beat that. Keep the party rolling. Go see Sheila. Every Friday. Every Friday. All right, there you go. You're welcome, people. <laughs> hey, you guys remember that episode of Friends when they all look at the baby? He doesn't do much, does he? No, nope, this is pretty much it. Beer Under Glass, once again, an incredible always, event. Always, always great. Always, always one of the top always, events. Always, always. Uh, Fobab, Beer Under Glass, kind of the one-two punch of uh, of the year. So thank you so much for the invite. Fun time. And big Fork, bro. Big, big, fork. big Fork. Go Kinda get that bacon show, sausage. Dude. Also, so good. if you guys are getting into video production, never shoot this angle. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching Number Six with Cheese. Peace. We love you.